I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to get up and get out of bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get out of bed. Go splash some water on your face. So let's go now. Get up and get after it. So I wake up early. I wake up at 4.45. I like to have that psychological win over the enemy. If you pan it down here, you see it's about 3 o'clock in the morning and there's not a car or a person in sight. If you pan over here, it's the same thing. There's not a car or a person in sight. People want to know where I find my strength at, where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places, but right now, this morning, I'm getting it from, there's not a, that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hey, this a Monday, and I'm loving it. I'm loving that where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting after it every daggone day. I believe in winning the battle against yourself. People say, why do you say that? Because there's a lot of things you can control. When you wake up, I talk about making your bed. Make your bed, make sure your house is clean, make sure you get your breakfast, make sure you shower, shave, whatever you're doing, control that. Don't hit the snooze button. All these things are very important. That's been told a lot of times. Why don't you hit the snooze button? Because you wake up already failing. What happens when you hit the snooze button? You may not make your bed. You may not do your hair the way you want it. You may not pick the right clothes out in the morning time. And I go back to this real quick. Remember how you had a job interview for a job? We've had several of them in our lives. What did you do the night before that job, weeks before the job interview, when you knew you had it? You prepared your, you know, you had a bowl out for your oatmeal, your cereal, whatever you had in the morning time. Your coffee cup was out. Your clothes were laid out. You were studied, you rehearsed, you were ready. You brought your best self. You're going to war with yourself because you wanted that interviewer to see your best self. You won. You got the job. After a few months in that job, you look around, I got the job. You start to back off. The clothes aren't out. You're not ready. You're hitting the snooze button. You don't get up on time anymore. You realize that you can still have this job and not be your best self. The interview you is gone. Your job is gone. You have your job, but the interview you is gone. So winning the battle in the morning time is just that. Is that you wake up in the morning time and you own all this stuff because once you leave your house, the world then gets at you. Once you win that battle in the morning time, then once you go out, now you've won. You go outside your house, you may lose your job, you may have a bad hit, but you won something. So, you, so you're going into battle having already won something. Haven't already won. So then, if you hit the snooze button, you go out, you just defeated already. You're behind the power curve. Now you've won something. You feel better about yourself. So now you're able to take these hits along the way. So that's the mindset that I think it's important to bring with you every day you go. Everywhere you go in life. Win what you can. This is the time where you have to gain control back of your mind. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. I had to run this morning before I talked to you, because why? That's what I'm about. I have 24 hours, and they're mine. This 24 hours belongs to me. And in that 24 hour period, I can either break my life or make my life. If you're grinding six, seven days a week for, for a span of five or six years, something's gotta come out of that. What should I be doing? And that's why I wake up every morning at three o'clock because for me, it's okay. Monday, do this. Tuesday, do this. Wednesday, do that. And if I do those things, I'm guaranteed to be successful. I believe in taking days off. I think days off are real important for recovery and all that stuff. 
but I don't believe in taking days off because your mentality is just feeling sorry for yourself. Uh, I deserve this or I've earned that mentality. We all have one voice and that one voice is very powerful that says, hey, you've earned this, you deserve this, take time off, all that stuff. Start developing the other voice, the other voice that fights that voice. When it's not a designated day off, I don't care if it's running, swimming, biking, studying. If it's not a day off, don't take a day off and start developing that voice that fights the weaker voice. So remember that. We all have one voice, work on the other voice also. We have to find our new norm. A new norm is something like this. When I was going through SEAL training, it's only supposed to be six months. I was there for 18 months. Kept on getting set back and set back and set back. You gotta change your mindset to know my whole job now is at four o'clock in the morning. I get the shit kicked out of me for 18 months. You gotta create that new norm. That has to be your lifestyle. You are the master of your own mind. Create that masterpiece. Be proud of yourself at the very end of it all. Your mind is already in this spastic mode. The spastic mode is, I have to get the hell out of here. It's your fight or flight, and usually it's flight. The one second decision is, what gets most of us, is they get in this situation where, so the first step of trying to find more of that 40% to try to get to that 100% is you have to be in control of that very thought process. That thought process is, how can I stay here just a little bit longer? Because you're never gonna get to 100% if you're constantly ringing that mental bell of get the hell out of here. You have to be able to stay in the fight longer. So how you do that is control that one second. And how we do that is we have to control our minds. Get control back. When our mind is starting to spaz out, find a way to not think about whatever your task may be. Your brain will say, this is, this is stupid. What are you doing? You, 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 this is, this is crazy. So you have to be able to live in that moment. You cannot allow your mind to get away from you. You can't allow it to start thinking about the pain, the suffering. Worry about that, it is coming. And this isn't just about working, I'm not saying run towards it in five miles, I'm not saying go through hell with you. I am saying be your best. If your best is your, our, our computer person, whatever it is, be your best means you have to be in that moment. Don't allow your mind to start going away from that moment. Because when it does, your mind is the most powerful thing that we have. It will win. It will get away from you. It will trick you into thinking you're not good enough. You shouldn't be here. This is too long of a journey. Blah, blah, blah. But if you can stay in the moment, control the moment, control your thought process, control what you're saying to yourself, you can slowly inch forward. They have no idea how much we all want to quit. I mean, you know, I think that's the thing about it, man. I, even today at 43 years old, man, every day I wake up, man, I want to quit. I want to retire. Every day of my life, so that's the thing about it, man. Like, you don't, you don't get to this some, some higher, place in your mindset where it's just set in stone and you're good to go it's pretty easy sometimes to to feel beaten that doesn't mean give up in fact it means the opposite it means it's time for you to fight harder to dig in it means it's time for you to go on the war path you're gonna get after it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're gonna do their best to take you down. Do not let them stand up, dig in, let 
those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow. So, so in the future, you look back at these struggles and you say to them, thank you. You made me 